Hi, in this tutorial we're going to discuss the UI elements of the game where you can display information via the banner, the UI HUD or a pop-up window. This is all done in a rule system under rules and game screen. So we have three different types of ways to show information to the player. Display variable on HUD is what we've been using at the bottom to show scores, times and things like that. Next you can do banner and that pops up with a window in the top middle here with the information. So we'll go ahead and test that out. What I've done here is I've added a volume and a message to trigger when a player is near it. So we can send a message to the rule system for the purposes of this example. So we've got UI1, UI2 and UI3. So we'll go back to our rule system and we'll use the first message, which is UI1. The type of variable that can be displayed is any. So it can be local or global, and it can be number, text, time, or true and false. In this case, we'll just do score. How long do we want the banner to be displayed for? We'll say three seconds. And a message that can be sent on close, it's not necessary, but it, it is an option if in case you need it. Uh, so we'll go ahead and check that out. I do have elements here where you can collect some cabbage to get a score. So if we go ahead and check our score now, you can see a pop-up has come up. It says score and we've got a score of zero. If we go ahead and collect the cabbage, you can see the score is now 50. And we can go and pop up and say score is now 50. We can change that a bit as well. So we can say after we do the score and it's collected, we can say display score and we can use that as a message. And we can say two seconds. So what that does is each time our score is changed by picking up an item, it will display it. So that's another way to show information to the player and it will do that each time the scores changed though so that's one of its weaknesses next we can display information using a pop-up same thing again we can use a display score so we'll go ahead and delete this one so we're not over writing using two different uh, pop-up windows so we've got display score, display score, and the title we want to say is uh, Dear Diary. And the text we want is uh, anything you want. So today was a good day. Wish it was like this every day. And you can send a message on close. And we'll go ahead and test that out. So you can do it with an interaction like UI or you can do it with a pickup and there you go a message has been sent we can see dear diary today was a good day wish it was like this every day and click OK. Now I believe we can send a message after we click OK when we click on close so we can say um, something else to display or open up a door so we can say open door 2 um, and we can change this to UI2. So this one pops up now when we walk near this mushroom and when we click close, it should open up door number two. Ah, we triggered the RNG. We don't want to do that. We want to walk around it. So you can see the volume has triggered the pop-up and when we click OK, the door is now opened. It's another way to give player information and it looks really nice as well. And the OK does have a trigger as well. Another way to display information, which we've already discussed, is display variable on HUD. So this is a little things at the bottom. Uh, but what I do want to show you as well is um, the variable type. You can say score and display here. You can do message argument. A message argument is a true and false statement. So what you can do here is you can have a um, true or false. We'll have with a message argument, we'll add true or false, true or false. And we can select if it's gonna be true or false. So we can say false for this one. We can delete this and delete this and we can duplicate this one. And we can say true with this one. 
we'll go back to our rules and a message here will say true or false and we want to see the score and we want to use the message argument true or false so this allows uh, message arguments to do the triggering of true or false without needing two different rules to do that so we'll go ahead and test that out you can see our score is displayed at the bottom and now it's disappeared now it's displayed now it's disappeared so that's another way to bring up information and hide it using message arguments and a true and false statements. I hope this has been useful. Have a great day.